Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a shorter video today, but make sure you pay attention because this is something that's valuable and that can really help push you and your business forward, especially when you're trying to close these deals. And even if you're a business owner and you're trying to get more patients in, you're trying to get more customers, you're trying to get more sales and you're just trying to grow your business in general, this will help you. So this is how to sell anything to anyone. So this is gonna be just three simple quick tips that I'm gonna give you guys and um, before we do start, however, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on all of my social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram specifically, um, as I'm releasing a six video course here on YouTube that will cover how to start a digital marketing agency from nothing and growing it all the way up and some of the steps and processes to Facebook ads, how to get results, bringing in leads, converting them and making them into brand evangelists. So be sure to look out for that. And um, if you do want early access, because early access will be coming, the course will be out in like two to three weeks, so like maybe two weeks to a month. But if you do want early access, comment below and you would be, if you comment and like, you'll have a chance to be entered into that giveaway. Um, not that giveaway, but that, that pre-release. So if you're interested in that, comment below, like, and let me know if you're interested. So let's just jump straight into this. So selling is an art and it's, and you're selling yourself every day, who you are as a person to other people. If you want to get something, you're selling yourself, you're selling what you want. So the number one way to sell someone something to someone, and a lot of people get this wrong, including car salesmen, they, and a lot of other just salespeople in general, they completely forget this. And this is the number one thing that you need to be successful when you're selling something to someone or trying to bring someone into your business. And that's asking questions and not asking low, shallow questions. You can start with the easier questions, but when you get comfortable with each other, you build up to those really deep questions and questions about like their goals, their life goals, their business goals, money goals, um, family goals, personal goals, anything, but very, very specific. And you want to get something that is a pain to them too. Like, Hey, what's something you wake up every morning? You wish you could snap your fingers and it's gone. Once you get that, once you get their goals, you'll have their pain points. Then you can attack these pain points um, later on in the close or later on when you're trying to convince them, hey, like do this with me, do this for me, come in and try this out. Um, whenever you ask these questions, you always wanna get an answer and you wanna get a very clear um, answer that it's something that they genuinely believe and they know and it's, it's a legit answer. You wanna get, you wanna always get an answer from these questions. Um, so you wanna ask questions about them and their pain points. Be sure to be very specific, make them deep, valuable questions so you can know what their pain points are, what their goals are, and what you can do to solve those. The second thing is you wanna sell with emotion and close with logic. So that would be, you wanna to sell to their feelings and their goals in the beginning by asking those questions as a direct route to doing so. Um, also maybe, you know, if you're selling a Ferrari to someone, you're not gonna sell a Ferrari to someone at first with, okay, here's the horsepower, here's what it can do, here are the different colors, here's what it sounds like, um, here's what it sounds like, here's the different kinds of um, modes you can drive it with. You're not gonna sell them based off of that. I'm gonna sell them more like this. Imagine you getting in a Ferrari, and you driving down the street, you're getting attention everywhere. People love you. people wanna get in the car with you or whatever, and you roll down the street and you see that one girl that you've always wanted to hang out with or whatever and she gets in the car with you and you guys roll off together in your brand new ferrari and you're feeling great you know that may be a little um that may be a little bit more um not like nice i guess you could say it, it's more focusing on yourself not as selfless obviously but i mean sell to their emotions if you if you understand what i'm saying sell to what they love and, and their emotions and then when it comes to the clothes most likely price that's when you close with logic hey we can separate this out into X amount of payments. Hey, um, this is beneficial for your health. Hey, this is something where you're gonna get a return on. You spend this amount, you're gonna get that amount plus more. So sell with emotion and close on logic. Sell to their feelings and their goals, especially. And then when you get to the close, price, and that's usually the price especially, you're gonna wanna close with logic. Show how the numbers work and show the logical situation of how each step works for them and how they can implement that into their lives in, in a great way. And the last thing is pre-framing. This is something that I really, really believe in strongly and it works a lot. 
Pre-framing is something where you're going in for a meeting, you're going in to talk to someone, you know someone's gonna come talk to you, you're going to talk to them about something. Before you even talk about your product, your service, what you wanna offer, anything, before you talk about any of that stuff, you wanna pre-frame it. If you want a decision to be made that day, tell them, hey, by the end of this conversation, I want a decision. It's either yes or no, I'm sorry. That's it. Um, you know, pre-frame it so they know you're serious and they know you take your job, your service, your product very, very seriously. So when the time comes to the close, they know, hey, it's either gonna be, yeah, I'm doing this, no, I'm not, and whatever else in between is out of the equation. Pre-framing, I think, is very, very important. Um, no matter what you're in, no matter what business you're in or, or what you do as a living or just in general in life. I mean, if you go up to a friend and, and pre-frame to them like, hey, like, are you coming with us to like the baseball game or whatever? You wanna tell them, hey, like, listen, dude, like, we don't have time to think about it. Are you coming to the baseball game, yes or no? If not, like, sorry. If yes, great. And there's there's no thinking about it here. It's, it's either you're coming or not. You gotta make a decision right now, dude. So here's why we wanna go to, you know, you pre-framing is very, very powerful. And it's simple too. It's something that you can easily apply automatically today into your sales process just to get ahead. Even if you, for example, if you cold call a lot or if you knock on the door or whatever, however you, your cold outreach is to getting sales, you could even pre-frame that because it just gets straight to the point. You don't waste your time and time is a very valuable asset, more valuable than money. Um, you won't waste your time. You won't waste their time. And it's just better in the end. If you pre-frame things and you know, hey, this is going to work. Hey, this isn't. Yes, no. Straight answers like that. Pre-framing helps you get to that point. And it also cuts the BS. So when, if you do, if they do become your customer, if they do become your client, if they do become a new patient, they trust you a whole lot more because they're, they, if they think back to the beginning, like, hey, he was straight up with me. And that shows an honest person would be straight up with you. So those are the three tips. Once again, I'll go over them real quick. Ask questions. Remember to draw back to their pain points. Sell with emotion and close with logic. Sell with the joy and the thrill of something and close them on the numbers and the logic. People lie. Numbers don't. And finally, pre-frame. Pre-framing is so important. It's so valuable. And it works like a charm every single time, especially if you do it right. So if you guys found this video valuable, start implementing it into your sales process, even if it's just one of them. But asking questions, selling with uh, motion, closing with logic, and pre-framing are very important. Implement those in your sales process. Let me know how it goes for you. If you guys want more videos like this, this is a little shorter video. But if you want more videos like this, um, just straight up value, just giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to grow your business and how to improve your sales skills in general, be sure to comment below, like, and share this with your friends if you've found this valuable. Also, I'm going to be on top of the course more recent. Um, before that, I'll release some Facebook ad tips and tricks for you guys so you guys can bring in leads, fulfillment side of leads and Facebook ads. And um, you guys can really perform to your peak because um, with my company, I mean, we're rooted in results purely. Um, it's either we're getting you good results or we're not going to work with you at all because we know we, when we can get someone good results, we'll continue to work with them and vice versa. So results are very important. Results are key. And I'm going to go over that in this Facebook ad strategy video. And it'll come out in the next few days, probably like Thursday. Um, on that also, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll be posting on YouTube, whether that's sales, um, personal branding, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, advertising, marketing in general, or just anything. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are those days. So look out for the videos, guys. Turn on post notifications and subscribe because this is going to be... Um, there's going to be a lot of good content coming out soon. So hope you guys enjoyed and found some value out of this. We'll see you guys in the next one.